So I'm sorry, I'm just going to use 27. This is a much easier problem. You'll see why. I'll go back to doing negative 54, though, for you uh, up there. So in this case, what I'm trying to do is identify what number multiplied by itself three times gives us negative 27. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I kept these numbers up here because I want you guys to write these down. Here is a list of square numbers. These are all numbers we can take the square root of. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is 25. Do you guys see that? Yeah. These are what we call cube numbers. These are numbers you can take the cube root of. Because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So what you notice is what number multiplied by itself three times gives us negative 27? Well, we only have two options. It's either negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 or 3 times 3 times 3, right? And it has to be negative 3 because that gives you 3, and this is going to give you negative, th or negative 27. So therefore, the important thing for you guys to understand is you can take the um, root or the